What's up YouTube? Welcome to my 212 guitar cabinet comparison video. Uh, I'm not going to do too much talking right now, I just want to get to the clips, but um, I will go in more detail after the clips. For now, just understand there's four cabinets here. Um, three of them have Celestion Vintage 30s, and they're just different size boxes. Uh, same speakers in different cabinets. And I threw a fourth one in the mix with Alnico speakers in it, just kind of mix things up. Uh, so, without any further ado, let's get to the playing, and I'll explain things in more detail after the clips. Let's go.
Okay, let's talk details. This was recorded with an iPhone SE, and I put the iPhone uh, 10 feet away from each cabinet, at the center line of each cabinet, and at the same height uh, for the recording of each, each cabinet. And it's basically at ear height. I put it up on a microphone stand, actually, and uh, just let the thing record. So I did not close mic the cabinets because close micing gives you really the sound of the speaker and not the sound of the box. And obviously the purpose of this was for you to hear the sound of the same speakers in different cabinets. So put the microphone um, about 10 feet away to get that. And I think it's pretty accurate to the differences that you would hear in the room. Obviously, microphones color things. would be different if I put a SM57 or, you know, a Rode NT3 or the, the iPhone mic. Or, I mean, you can argue for days about what microphone you should use. But uh, these things are, you know, everyone knows the frequency response of an iPhone mic. So I figured it was a pretty reasonable way to do it. And um, so all the cabinets are open back. They're all running 8-ohm speakers wired in series for 16-ohm load. And... Three of them were wired, or three of them had Selection V30s in them, and all those V30s are about the same vintage. Um, they run from 2006 to 2011 build dates, so they've got the, about the same amount of playing time on them. They're built about the same time, and really, they should sound the same, so the only difference really should be the box, and I think you could probably hear the differences there. But uh, we basically had an oversize, a regular size, and a compact. And then I threw that other one in the mix of the Alnico speakers. So we, uh, first cabinet, Avatar Vintage Style 212. This is the oversized box. And uh, it's got a slanted baffle. It's a pretty large size 212. It's an oversized, it's similar to uh, like an oversized uh, Bogner cabinet or uh, oversized Dr. Z. I mean, there's a lot of oversized cabinets out there for 212. So this is where we're oversized. Regular size, we had an Avatar Traditional. 212. This has got a, a straight front baffle, um, basically run of the mill uh, traditional 212. Compact cab, orange 212 PPC OB. This is their open back. You might be able to see through the grill cloth that the speakers are actually set a little bit diagonal in this cab. Such so an in interesting design. And it's pretty compact. And then to throw something different in the mix, we had this uh, orange PPC 212 open back with uh, two Alnico speakers in it. It's an Alnico mix. So one of them is a Scumback S75 Scumnico speaker, and then the other one is a Avatar A25 Alnico. And so it's a mixture of those two speakers in there. Just kind of throw something different in there so you can hear the, the difference with uh, the two orange boxes, same box with two different speakers in there. I figured it would kind of be useful for people. Um, so again, they're all open back, and all the ones with V30s have speakers of uh, similar vintage, same impedance, wired exactly the same. Signal chain. Les Paul Studio from 1995. Uh, played on the bridge pickup. That's the stock Gibson 498T. Running straight into 1965 Vox AC50 head. Uh, this is being played on the Brilliant channel. Obviously, the settings are a little bit different between distortion and clean, but uh, settings are common for every cab every time I switched. And the amp went right into the cab. cab. So basically what I did is line these four things up in a, in a room and just take the speaker, ca speaker cable out from each cab and plug it into the next one and record. Just move the, the iPhone over, measure, make sure it was 10 feet away from the cab in the center line of the cab and play. Move to the next cab after I recorded some sound clips and that's it. So yeah, I hope this was informative. I hope you were able to hear the difference between uh, the boxes and hear the same speakers and how uh, the same speakers in different boxes actually sound different. So going back to the uh, different cabinets, you might have noticed that this Avatar Vintage style cabinet is a, you know, it's a large box, uh, tend to have more low end than the other ones, more low end than the compact oranges and a little more low end than um, the traditional style one. A little warmer sounding. It's got the uh, the slanted baffle, so the reflections on the back are at a little bit of a slant. You get different type of phase cancellations than uh, a cabinet that's got a straight front baffle on it. This one sounds pretty warm. Uh, it's got a pretty sweet top end. It's got a lot of low end to it. The mids are canceled out a little bit in comparison to the um, compact ones and the straight front. Um, this Avatar traditional one over here, very focused. Uh, Adequate low end, very focused sound, 
a little harsher than the other ones, but also, you know, a little brighter sounding, um, a little more clear. Again, doesn't quite have the mid presence that the uh, the compact ones do because that's they're really centered around mid range. But you know, going to the compact cabinet, this orange uh, open back, um, and again, this this one's got a unique design because these speakers are set diagonal in the baffle, straight front baffle, compact cabinet, not a ton of low end. Um, it sounds adequate when you're in the room with it. It may sound a little thin compared to the larger style boxes just because it doesn't have as much internal volume, but it doesn't sound thin in the room. I mean, it's, it's definitely got less low end than the larger boxes, but it's got a nice uh, present mid-range. And the top end on it's nice and sweet. The, uh, the top end on the straight front baffle Avatar Traditional, I, I find it to be a little harsh. This in comparison, it's a nice warm sounding cab. Adequate low end, nice mid range presence. It, it sits nice in a band mix, and the um, 212 open back with the Alnico's in it, just a different sound. It's got more grind to it. Uh, you know, it sounds a little more gritty, a little more blurred. Uh, it's got a little more texture to it. It's just uh, the Alnico's have a different sound altogether. A little, not quite as uh, the attack isn't as aggressive as the ceramic speakers are a little warmer, they're a little more compressed. Just got a different sound, so I, I figured I would throw that in there just so you can hear the difference between different speakers in the in the same box with those two oranges. So yeah, hope this was informative, hope you enjoyed it, and thanks for watching.